you're always smiling and relaxed. Will, will you be the same in moments out there at the face-off? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> back in, back in! Trevor, Trevor. Ooh. <laughs> That's speed, boy. This league's awesome, man. Who's got the pills to finish this f***ing game? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Yep. I just want to have fun out here with my boys. Sounds like your time is up. Go get them. Let's do it. What's up, everyone? My name's RJ Kaminsky, and I'm a host for the Premier Lacrosse League. And I'm Trevor Baptiste, and I'm a player in the Premier Lacrosse League. Six teams. I'm a face-off specialist, and I play for the Atlas Lacrosse Club. My goal this season was capturing moments between this guy and fans, and also moments with you on the sidelines. Obviously, I was more focused on winning face-offs and winning games for the Atlas Lacrosse Club. But, uh, I mean, we had a good time, right? Let's go! <laughs> And we're gonna share some of those moments with you right now. We're gonna go way back. The very beginning, like the first time you saw your jersey. Wait, that far back? That far back. It's like animalistic, but at the same time, extremely stylish. <laughs> Into training camp down at IMG Academy. Wow, we are really going way back. That feels like a long time ago. And also to miking this guy up during the actual game. That's me, boy. That's me, boy. <laughs> so let's relive our favorite moments from the inaugural PLL season. Let's do it. Did you get your bag yet? Not yet. Oh, where is it? I don't know. What's up, man? Come on, Tuxedo. I don't know where my bag is. I gotta go to the gym, do some more bicep curls for these. <laughs> Have you gotten a chance to see the other team's jerseys? Are the Atlas ones the best? Um, yes, I've had a chance to see mostly everyone's, and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed with theirs. I'm really, really excited about ours. <laughs> Which ones are your favorite? Tell me. If it's not Atlas, we're gonna have a problem. Your Atlas team is very animated. A lot of animation coming out of here. A lot of love on your team, though, between Trev and Kyle. Hey! <laughs> right, they're boys. Look at these guys go. Oh! <laughs> Play for the Atlas Lacrosse Club. I missed the interview. <laughs> I heard you said something nice about me. Yes. Did you really? Yes. What do you think of RJ? Uh, RJ's great. He is amazing to work with. Consider him one of my good friends. Put that on the blog, RJ. <laughs> Make sure you put it on the blog. <laughs> I think we're done in the interview room. Okay, Whatever. let's go. Give me the camera. Uh, what are we doing? What are we saying? What's up, PLL? How are you doing? <laughs> 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 you're just, you're dangling it. Hold it up okay. straight. I haven't been to the motion room yet. Everyone's talking about the motion room. Yeah, the motion room's pretty sweet. I have been in the motion room. I heard it's only really I'm... good players that get in there. <laughs> so that's why you gotta go. Let's go. I know, Arch but I'm not a player. I'm a player. Don't we're, put that in the wall. <laughs> Turning this way. What do we have over here? Oh. 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 You wanna be on camera? Oh. <laughs> Nux. Boom. Damn, that <laughs> ring hurt. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I don't know how you hold up this camera all day, dude. This is actually pretty heavy. Who has bigger arms, me or Trevor? Who does a better job holding the camera steady? Okay, I think we all know the answer to that one, but I appreciate you acknowledging how heavy this camera is. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing, dude. Like, <laughs> come on. Hey, what's up, Phil? Nation sure of Orange. I was right, really working on my triceps. <laughs> I'll take that back. So, me today I ended that we went to sunny Florida for the first ever PLL training camp. How's it going, man? How you doing? Good. Yeah. What's up? What's up, everyone? Day one of training camp. Yes. We're just getting off the bus. What's up, Trevor? I'm really excited to be down here. We got a lot of boys in here. Yeah. Testosterone's pumping. Testosterone's <laughs> pumping. Yeah, no. Let's go inside, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll help you out. All right, you can take it back. What up? Like, <laughs> what's up? Who's my roommate? I hope it's Chris. Let's go, Alice on three. One, two, three. Alice! Alice. <laughs> go in nowhere. Hey, beast. Hey, Let's go, Doc. What do you say? Here, yeah. Sun is down. Freezing cold. Got the gate outside when they pull up, they give me loose. Yeah. We ain't going nowhere. First year, guys only. Wait, but are we all first years in this league? Yeah. Because it's bad boy for life. <laughs> Training camp wars 2K19. It's gonna get down all the way down to your yeah. prank wars. <laughs> Woo! Is that how we're playing it? I've also worn the same underwear to every game since freshman year of college. You can tell, been through a lot here. <laughs> been blown out a bit, so lucky underwear.
Cold brew. I usually go grande, but Tuck hooked it up. Tuck hooked it up with the venti. You need some extra juice. You need some extra juice today, you know? Down. Mile High City. Yeah. A lot's on the line. <laughs> A lot's on the line. Denver's a uh, extremely special place for me. You know, I, I have so many friends and memories that I've made here. Obviously, winning a national championship at the University of Denver is so high in my uh, lacrosse experience. Playing under Coach Tierney and, and, and all the, the coaches that I had out here in Denver and on all the relationships I made and, and all the opportunities that really opened up for me. It doesn't really matter who's out there right now. There is no kryptonite currently for Trevor Baptiste. It's a place where I really turned a corner in my in my life and career as a lacrosse player. <laughs> Pio till I die. So it's pretty uh, special to be able to be out here again with the Atlas, baby. Let's go. What do you say, talk? What do you say, talk? What do you say, talk? <laughs> Let's go. Packing the mills, gone. She like how it smell, cologne. <laughs> huh? What's up, son? You look good. You like it? I'm trendy. I'm from Denver. It's my city. It's gonna be tight on the bus. What's up, Speed? What's up? So a lot of people don't know this, but I actually started taking face-offs the end of my freshman year, start of my sophomore year, pretty late in the grand scheme of things. I would face off against my coach after practice, and he was like, yeah, like I'll teach you how to face off. Like, we need a backup. We think you'd be really good. And we're just like going head to head, like really grinding against each other. And then I started starting for high school and then started doing it for my club team. And then just all stuff. The rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. And it was kind of crazy how uh, you know, my journey to the University of Denver and, and getting to a top Division One school wasn't something that I thought was ever going to happen, especially when I first started facing off. I didn't know you brought those. I did. Nice. <laughs> Got something to say, big boy? Mm. I don't have a mustache. <laughs> oh, yo. Too ticklish for that. It's our guy. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Everyone's like, <laughs> I just like to have fun, you know? I like, to, I like to have fun in whatever I'm doing. I love lacrosse, I, I love facing off. I love being with my teammates and my best friends out on the field. Those emotions, I feel like I like to carry over into my game. Face-offs are interesting because every time you go on the field and you come off, it's very uh, binary. So it's like, you either won or you lost, you know? And, and a, lot of the, a lot of times that can put a lot of pressure on you. I don't think any position on the field has that hard cut of, did you win or lose every single shift? I remember when I was going into my junior year of high school, I was facing off at this club tournament and this, and this kid just absolutely kicked my teeth in, like just crushed me. He was also from New Jersey and I, and I couldn't buy a face off win from him. You know, I, I think in that moment, with someone who's really competitive, you could either look at it and say, wow, like, maybe I should just quit. Like, I, I kind of suck, you know? <laughs> or, or you can look at it like, you know, I got beat up today. That guy was better than me and just keep grinding. And then uh, that next year, we were trying out for this team and I ended up just crushing him <laughs> in, the, in the tryout. And uh, it was kind of like an eye-opening experience for me. You know, you gotta, you gotta enjoy winning. Obviously, everyone enjoys winning, but you gotta find the drive and the positivity and the excitement in, in getting beat. And all that stuff gets me excited. I mean, I look at this opportunity that we have to play the professional landscape, get paid to play this game, travel around the country to play and teach this game is, is an amazing opportunity. It's something that I like to smile about, something that gets me excited. What's up? What's up? Kind of blind squirrel finds it. <laughs> kind of how my story went, you know, kind of starting late and it was all about just working hard out there and having fun doing it. And that's something that I just try to stick with me as I keep playing professionally and hopefully until I'm done playing. Back Can you stitch this? 
I do wash them, okay? I wash them. It's not like I never wash them. <laughs> Get a little, uh, a little <laughs> blow out, <laughs> blow out underneath. <laughs> So, Trev, did you actually wear the same pair of underwear every game for the 10 week regular season? Ever since I was a freshman in college. Got a lot of burn. That pair has gotten a lot of burn. <laughs> got a lot of burn. That's pretty ridiculous, but there was a ton of ridiculous moments that happened in year one, and you're gonna see all of our favorites coming up next. Let's do it! Trevor! 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 Good work, JP! Use it! Yeah! Yeah! There was a ton of ridiculous moments in year one, and we're gonna show you a collection of our favorites coming up now. Check it out. Oh, they got the jerseys on. Wow. Trevor is signing some of the first Trevor Baptiste jerseys. Yeah, they got them before I did. I know Trevor will like this. Can we get a Trevor chant going? Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. What's up, everyone? PLL starts today. We got two games today. Sunday, heavyweight battle. Atlas versus the Redwoods. Trevor versus Greg. Oh! Trevor and I are here at the Premier Zone. It's pretty fun it out here. It's pretty lit. Yeah! <laughs> Who do you guys have this weekend? Atlas! 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 <laughs> what do we think about Atlas this year? Honest, honest, honest. Overrated. Overrated. Oh. Atlas is going to play Chaos on NBC. NBC Maine. Are you nervous? No. I'm, I'm extremely excited. Guys, is, is Trevor nervous? Yeah. Is Trevor nervous? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Trevor, I'm nervous. Trevor, it's okay to be nervous. It's a big game. Dude, I'm just excited. Who do we have? Atlas or Chaos? Atlas! 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 Are you guys about to go on TV? Yeah. Right, we're about to. Good luck. Thanks, bro. Let's, Let's go, go boy! Woo! What'd you think of the matchup? It was good. Hey. What'd you think of it? That was great. Yeah. Great battle. Great sportsmanship. Love this league. Got a lot of fans here cheering us on. <laughs> Could you talk a little about the matchup today with Trevor? It's a good matchup with Trevor and I. Tough battle. It was like a wrestling match out there the entire time, grinding and grinding, headbutting a little bit. First time I met him too. I never met him. It was pretty, the first time you met Trevor. The first time I met Trevor. Oh. See you later, brother. I thought the matchup was great. You know, first time going against Farrell. Also Drew Simino. It's definitely tough that they have two face-off guys. It's really hard and going in every single face-off, being a little bit. Tough hired and them throwing two different styles at you. It was a little tough, but it was extremely awesome. One goal game today, overtime games yesterday. If you're not watching, if you're not coming, I don't know what you're doing. Speaking of coming, and speaking of coming, <laughs> in Baltimore, baby, Homewood Field, let's go. Atlas, out. On the campus of Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, the first ever Premier Lacrosse League game under the lights pits Atlas LC up against undefeated Whip Snakes, who have won all three of their games in overtime. <laughs> First time at a lacrosse game in Baltimore. I didn't know these guys love lacrosse this much. It's awesome. Are you gonna, what up, Trev? Maybe. Game today, Archers Chaos. Sports! NBC SN on the guide under TV. SN. <laughs> we are in Atlanta. Atlas just kicked this thing off. One, nothing. Let's go. Trevor's facing off right now. I think I'm behind Trevor's biggest oh, fan yeah. club. Trevor! 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 Trevor Baptiste broke his shaft already, and I'm trying to find out who the biggest Atlas fans are at this game. Let's go, Atlas! Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! Thank you. Brownie, you're here, and you'll have the ceiling slip. And Atlas wins their second game of the season. Wow! Yeah. Let's go, Atlas Dub. This league's awesome, man. It's freaking awesome. This league's awesome. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Look at his speed on him. Oh! What's up? Say speed. speed. RJ! Trevor! Katie! Kayla! And it is officially PL All-Star Weekend. Let's go! Woo! Woo! <laughs> How's Ryder gonna do, Trevor? I think he's gonna do great. Not as good as Gutty and I, though. Ah, yeet. Yeah. You know how many people like just walk around there like, hey, can you say gutty for me? Like, is it that cool the way I say it? Yeah, it's just, I'm that cool. Now, maybe that's it. We got all the creative players in the league. You guys that can really put the ball in the back of the net. Who's going to be using Baptiste, so. Whoa. Ho. Ho. The gutty Trevor combo is actually pretty fresh. <laughs> that went great. I think I did good. I think I did really good. Oh. I'm with uh, Monique and Jim Brown. Uh, I think Gutterding's gonna bring it home. Danny man's game right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gutty! Oh, there we go. Jim gave Gutty an eight. Thanks, Jim, you're my boy. I wouldn't be able to do it without my boy, Trevor Baptiste, <laughs> my wingman. In the house. You're a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> 
pretty good. <laughs> What's up, Trevor? In other words, we're in the Mile High City. Go Pioneers. And uh, we got a pretty sweet crowd. Yeah, I, man. I yeah. Kyle, so next up we have Trevor. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> wow, someone's listening to literally everything I'm saying. But this is my second time doing it this season. So I think this time I'll be a little bit uh, better at it. I don't know. <laughs> Don't forget, there will be a mic in your helmet as well. Yeah, I saw it. Hot takes only. Except for like the fact that you're like wearing a bra, you, you really can't feel it. And even in the helmet too, can't feel it at all. You guys do a good job. Thanks. For sure. I'm excited to hear your answers to, to Ryan's questions. <laughs> you know, honestly, me too. Hey, Trevor, this is Ryan Boyle. While we got a break in the action, what is your approach based off the different guys that throw at you at the face-off X? Yeah, you know, Boyle is tough. It's tough going against a few guys, you know. They're throwing a lot of different action at me, but it's a, it's a lot of fun, you know? What do you ask you? You guys have a lot of questions. I can't really, I don't really remember. I blacked out for most of them, but it's game time, so. <laughs> Carolinas and Baptiste need to be separated. Let go my stick! Let go my stick! Back in, back in! Good work, JP! Use it! One sec, Ryan's asked me a question. Trevor, what's your approach when they throw that long pole at you? You're gonna go even louder and be like, ah! All right, ready? Three, two, one! Are you trying to take my job? Should I take RJ's job? <laughs> you were mic'd up today. Did you keep it clean for the kids at home? I blacked out a bit. Don't judge me in the heat of the moment. That's not who I am as a person. We came here for one f***ing reason. Let's f***ing burn. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Trev on the rail. Congrats, brother. Your playoff chances are still intact. Going to Albany. Upstate, baby. Let's go! Easy claps for Atlas today, boys. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got a picture with you, too. Yeah. One, two, three. Easy, Easy claps, claps, boys. Good win! Yeah! And Atlas gets the win and keeps their playoff chances alive. Playoffs, go Chrome, go Chrome. Yeah, boy, let's go! Get us in, boy. Hang on one second, I have to ask. Did it ever become too much, me sticking this camera in your face? I really appreciate you asking me that, <laughs> RJ. Let me ask you something. Is this too much? Is this too much, huh? <laughs> PLL. No, it wasn't too much. I really enjoy interacting with the fans. RJ does a fantastic job. I was just joking. That was nice, Trevor. Back to the vlog. Great game, Trevor. Game one's over. We took the business on our end. Let's go, Whips. Let's go, Chrome. Day two, here we go. It's day two here in Albany. Let's go. <laughs> and one of the most exciting parts of the NBC broadcast of the PLL games this year has been the innovative ability to go under the helmet with players during the game on the field. Just get to mine and see yours. You should have split again. You should have split again. That's five in a row. Talk to him. Talk to him. He's an out top side. behind the back and he scores. A little weird having someone in your ear, but cool. <laughs> Great job on that face-off win, Trevor. Trevor, one of my favorite moments from you was actually on the sideline, and it was when you called Paul Rabel's two-pointer in Denver and then proceeded <laughs> to react like this. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, Paul came to the sideline. Big momentum turn for the team. I was like, where's nines at? Paul's number 99. Where's nines? Yo. Dude. I was like, put some respect on his name, boy. <laughs> I was like, I was like. <laughs> put some respect on his name. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. But it isn't all sunshine and roses out there with you mic'd up on the field. You had a little bit of a skirmish with Brian Carolunas on the Redwoods. Carolunas and Baptiste need to be separated. Everybody was friends last week in LA. Different story here in Denver. I wasn't trying to start anything. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean. <laughs> Look on my fing stick! Look on my stick! Look on my stick! I did rewatch it. it did, I did kind of sound like a little, uh... Look on my stick! Yeah, he was holding my stick! I tried to pull it out. That's what that was. I was getting pretty amped about it. I, I was trying to yell because I didn't want to get a penalty. The moment reminded me of two brothers fighting over a stick in the backyard. It did kind of sound like that. I'm like this. He's on my stick. Yeah. I wasn't trying to start anything. 
You don't want to run like that. <laughs> Brian, let go of his stick. Let go of my stick. No. Let go of my stick. So Trevor, does Ryan's voice just come out of nowhere like it's God speaking to you? A little bit. Now you mentioned it, but it's definitely a little bit more fuzzy. More like a radio, not what I imagine God to sound like. He'll just pop in and be like, hey, Trevor, like, what'd you think of that play? <laughs> hey, Trevor, this is Ryan Boyle. Hey, Trevor, a few lockups here. Is that your Boyle? Hey, Trevor, what do you got to say to us about the face-offs out there? It seems like you guys are getting tied up. Getting to the ball at the same time right now. Ah, uh, we're both reacting to the whistle pretty well, and uh, he's got a lot of weight, so it's it's uh, both ways. It's hard to push us off. <laughs> like, yo, boy, I'm going out for a face-off right now. Can we talk about this another time? I gotta go. <laughs> Here we go. And really, that contributed to one of the moments that I think was the best mic'd up under the helmet segment of the year. When you tell Boyle, you gotta go. I said, I gotta go, man. I gotta go play. I'm literally on the field about to go down <laughs> and take the face off. I gotta go, <laughs> Brendan. We're gonna stick with him here on this face off. So what happened after you scored? <laughs> well, he made quick work of him that time. <laughs> go. What do you want, boy? You really did have to go somewhere, huh? Yeah. Boyle checked right back in, you know, came right back in, obviously. He was like, wow, you really did have to go on that. And then you looked at the camera yeah. when he asked you that. What was the difference on that one between the other ones? That's me, boy. I wanted to make sure Boyle could hear me. I said, now I'm talking to you, Boyle. That's me, boy. How did you know where the camera was, man? Honestly, I had no idea where the camera was. I could see Boyle, like, little bitty up there off the top of the booth in the, in the stadium. And I was just like, I'm just going to look up at him when I talk to him. Question, when you uttered those famous words. That's me, boy. Did you think it was going to go viral on the internet? Did not think it was going to go viral on the internet. I mean, I've been kind of pushing some speed myself through my own personal brand. You wear the speed shades. The that's, speed shades. that's what that joke is when he's yeah. always rocking the sunglasses. Yeah, it's all about speed. Look at speed. Beat on him. That's speed, boy. <laughs> That's why I said the line and it just kind of popped off again. I don't know. <laughs> so it was an incredible year one. You saw some of our favorite moments on the year, but the season isn't over yet. First ever PL Championship is coming to Philadelphia September 21st. You can secure your seat at PLLTickets.com. <laughs> So the first PLL season was an incredible one, as you can see by all of those wild moments. Trev, could you describe it in one word? Just one? Just one. That's me, boy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>